Hey everybody, Rock Paper Mario here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon A Crystal A Legacy. Um, today is Monday the 10th of June at like 8.21 in the morning. Um, I, f I think like, I think the last time when I recorded this, it was like a long, long time ago. Like I think it was sometime around the second week of May or something like probably a month ago so it's kind of weird like recording this right now um so yeah the first part hasn't gone out yet but I believe that actually today the second last part of Legends Arceus where we catch Spiritomb is going out um so that's kind of exciting this will be being uploaded soon I know there's a couple of people really looking forward to it so what are these people like holding Oh, I probably gave them this stuff before. I think I gave like Krang the poison barb because it was Friday the last time when we when we were playing this thing, um, and I gave Teen Idol the experience share or whatever. Probably anyway. Let's get this show on the road. Um, so yeah, here we are in Union Cave. I, I looked up the good rod. Like this is just an example, not the good rod, the old rod. Um, I, this is just another example of me being like, I don't know what the difference between Crystal Legacy and Pokemon Crystal is. Like, I don't know whether you can normally find Sand True here. <laughs> I, I honestly don't. I, I just don't know anymore. Like, I don't know whether you can, actually can normally find Sand True here, for all I know you can. But, like, as far as I'm concerned, this is all new to me. I don't think you could find Sandshrew in Pokemon Silver. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> I need to get these, like, Pokemon leveled up. But to be honest, I think this, like... And again, here I am. I'm probably going... Like, I'm probably going to put my foot in my mouth right now, like, at the beginning of the video. Like... I was just going to say, I don't think this, the Pokemon in Union Cave were this high level, like, in Pokemon Silver. Narrator voice, they were. Um, but I don't think they were. I honestly don't think that, you know what, I might as well just, like, go out and heal again after that one Pokemon battle. <laughs> we're just warming up here, folks. We're just warming up. It's been a while since I played... Uh, since I played this game, it's not like I've it's not like I haven't been playing Pokemon for the last 25 years or whatever But um, when I think about it, that is crazy actually I never actually thought about that Pokemon has been part of my life for the last 25 years 25 out of like 33 like well over two-thirds of my life has been Pokemon adjacent or Pokemon related but yeah the um which is kind of a funny thought so yeah like as I say I, I, disclaimer about this entire let's play I'm probably not like the best let's player to be playing Crystal Legacy to be showing off all the stuff that's different between this and Crystal purely because I have I never played Crystal in my life so the only thing I know from Crystal is that my cousin had it, and also I've seen like Let's Play stuff of it. Um, so that's my that's my only like knowledge of Crystal. I only have like secondhand information or whatever. But yeah, I honestly don't think that you would have had like level eight Pokemon here in Union Cave already. Teen Idol grew to level ten. Just wait till we get him all those haircuts. He's not gonna know what's hit him. He's gonna be so happy. He's not even gonna. <laughs> He, he's gonna be so happy he won't know what hit him. Well, a haircut. We're just gonna get him a haircut. We're gonna go to the haircut brothers. Um, but yeah, so it is the morning of the 10th of June. Um, it was The weather here has been really quite nice, you know? It hasn't been, like, blowing the doors off or anything, but, like, compared to, like, what you can expect sometimes here in Ireland, we've had really nice weather. Um, so... We've mostly been having sunny days, at least part of the day has been sunny a lot of the time. Like, usually it's kind of sunny for at least part of the day, or like sunny and then a bit cloudy. But we've had some, like, hot weather. Like, it got up to about, like, 20 degrees a couple of days, um, which was nice. It's always nice to see. Okay, Cubone, I can't handle this. <laughs> I call her Bigfoot. 
I can't believe as well, do you know what the, like, I can't believe I don't think I talked about this in the last recording session when I, when I was going on and on and on about I Call Her Bigfoot. The funniest thing about that song, right? The absolute, like, the funniest thing about that song is that it's not even spelt Bigfoot like the, the creature, like the, the Bigfoot, the Bigfoot, the entity. It's spelled Bigfoot like two words, and each word is capitalized, like Bigfoot. Like, there's something so funny about that to me. Okay, how much more of this cave is there to go? Um, do I have any potions? Like, I have two. It's worth it. Krang is worth it. Krang will always be worth it. Plus, I think, doesn't this cave have, like, fire breathers? It has those guys in it that, like... It has those guys in it that look like that fat guy from Streets of Rage. Yeah, these guys! That's exactly the guy that I was thinking about, and funnily enough, they breathe fire as well. These fat guys in Streets of Rage that breathe fire. Okay, to be honest... Like, we seriously need to get something else other than Bubble. Bubble just isn't going to be cutting it here. Not with trainer battles like this. The, um... So yeah, like, it is the, it is like the 10th of June, we've had like a really nice weekend, so what was it, Friday? Friday was actually quite nice, I can't remember what we did, but it was nice. Oh yeah, that's actually, I think, um, I think I remember seeing that Dark is actually like a physical move in this game now, I don't think it's a special move. I think they like swapped Dark and Ghost, at least I recall anyway, seeing some note to that effect. I believe that that's one of the things they did. They swapped Dark and Ghost from being um, special to physical and physical to special, respectively, purely because of like the move pool and the Pokemon that are actually... Oh my god, you actually learn Return? That's really cool! That's really synergistic. Um... But yeah, the, uh, I th I'm pretty sure that's what they did to take advantage of not just the move pool, but also, like, the Pokemon that, like, the Pokemon stats who are those types, like, you know what, let's just, like, try and beat this, like, wild Geodude. Prang, if you can't beat this wild Geodude, you're not cutting it. There we go. <laughs> like, seriously? Like, looking at this now, I'm just gonna, like, Bugsy's probably gonna kick my ass. I can't let Bugsy kick my ass. I can't lose my my title as being like the bug Pokemon, the bug Pokemon King to Bugsy, to like a child, a child. The only thing worse than a rapist of all things. So I don't think we go up there. I really don't think we do. I think we, um, okay, Onyx. I feel like you can go down there, but I think it's just like a dead end, isn't it? Like, we'll fight the, uh, we'll fight this guy for the experience. But, um, yeah, so I think, I feel like we're still getting into it with this game. Like, I honestly, I'm going to apologize in advance if there's, like, so much stuff where I'm like, oh, is this actually, like, from Pokemon Crystal, or is this, like, Nerd Crystal Legacy? Because I'm just not going to realize it. Like, there's so much stuff where I'm just... Too much is bubbling. Kept us waiting for a bubble. The, um... There's gonna... Okay, that's not great. Krang, you're probably gonna eat shit and die. Yep. <laughs> Krang, you're probably gonna eat shit and die. No, I wanted to check the stats. <laughs> I wanted to check my stats. Metronome, <laughs> it's our only hope. <laughs> Absorb! Nice one. Oh my god, Teen Idol. We've got it on lock. Now, if that doesn't make you happy, I don't know what will. I, I see, like, a lot of grinding in my future, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> oh my god, Krang, I'm sorry. And you could have, like, done it as well if that, if that stupid, uh... If that stupid rock throw hadn't taken you out. I wish I could use, like, the dream more, but, like, up against, like, things like this sand true. 
still trying to think what we did on Friday. Here I am. I'm like, oh, it was a lovely weekend, and I can't even remember what I did like three days ago. Yeah, like, I think this is just a dead end that brings you down to where the Lapras is, isn't it? Once you have, like, Surf and Rock Smash or whatever. Or Hulk Smash, Hulk Bash, all of this stuff. But, um, yeah, what the hell did we do on Friday? I feel like we went, we went and bought cat food. <laughs> That's exciting. We went and bought cat food, or pussy food, as I call it. Like, it's so funny, there's so many words in, like, our everyday vocabulary that are nonsensical, that are related to this cat, right? So, our cat vocabulary is just a little bit bizarre, right? So, first of all, pussy food. Pussy food is what we call cat food. And, and, I'll, and I'll admit it, right? All of this vocabulary is my fault. My, my partner is completely, is completely innocent when it comes to introducing this vocabulary to the- Well, actually, no, he isn't. I, I, I retract that statement. There is one term in particular, I can think, which is all his fault. Um, but yeah, pussy thud, um, comes from, do you know, like, the mayor in, in Earthbound, who's like, Mayor Poochie Fudd, and for me, Poochie food then became what I refer to dog food as, so dog food I'll call poochie food because it poochie is like a dog and fud is like food and mono means one and rail means rail. So then when we start when we had the cat first, when we got mellow first and we had to get cat food, right? We I started calling it pussy fud, right? <laughs> So cat food in our in our vernacular now in the house is called pussy food. So whenever we get up in the morning and she's like, oh, I want to be fed. I'm like, oh, did you eat your pussy food? Do you want your pussy food? So anybody else would probably think we're just after losing control of our minds. But pussy food is what, 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 I can't even call it cat food, but cat food is called. Funnily enough, we don't call cat litter pussy litter. <laughs> Which you would think we might, but we don't. <laughs> Absent cure berry. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay, maybe the dream will get some exposure down in Slowpoke well. Too tired exploring for Marrill, so I can't... There's Marrill in there? Yeah, but is Marrill only... There's Marrill in there? I kind of want a Marrill. <laughs> I should have gone and healed Krang first, but I'm just like too lazy to do it, I'll admit it. So yeah, pussy food. Then, like, so she has like a cat tree, right? She has like a cat tree that she that she sleeps up on top of. It's kind of a tall cat tree thing with a, you know what I'm talking about with a little box and a little platform that she can sit on and sleep on, right? So we used to call that Well, I used to call it her did I used to call it? Not just the tower. Her tower. We, I used to, definitely used to call it her tower or something like that, or her her fortress or something. Like I used to call it something ridiculous like that. Okay, finally something that we can use the dream against. I definitely used to call it something like her fortress or her tower or something. I think it was fortress or something like that. Anyway, one day, right? We were playing Wingspan, you know, the tabletop game Wingspan, um, or board game Wingspan, depending on what vocabulary you use. I remember in, like, Gen 1, Low Kick used to have this kind of sis boom ba rhythm. Like, it used to go like that. But, um... So we were playing the game Wingspan, and you know the way in Wingspan they have like different types of nests and blah 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 blah, right? They, there's all this different, I'm not going to get into detail on Wingspan, right? So we were playing Wingspan, and my partner misread one of the types of nests. He kept talking about the gravity nest, and I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, no, this bird needs the gravity nest. What the hell is a gravity nest? So I looked at it, it said cavity nest, but the text was so small that he read it as gravity nest. So now, 
we start then we started calling like when she's up on the top platform of her of her cat tree we started referring it to to it as her gravity nest so now that's another element of the cat related vernacular is the gravity nest aren't i good samaritan what a weird weird guy i'm gonna say something that'll cut you like a knife so yeah the pussy fud the gravity nest Cat massage, well cat massage is like, cat massage means two things, first there's like that, there's like that, um, that crazy video where the lady is talking about giving your cat a cat massage, so then sometimes if we're like, if we're like petting her, we'll call it the cat massage. Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to like bring this ball to this guy, this guy who I just thought was, was also, um, I want to give you the GS ball. Oh no, I didn't get the GS ball. What am I talking about? I don't... Anyway. Oh yeah, we need to go and boot Team Rocket out of Slowpoke well. Gonna give them a lesson in pain? Holy crap. Grandpa's gone. I'm so lonely. The, um... Is this like an apricorn tree then? Oh, it's a white apricorn. Are they for like the fast ball? I can't remember, there are so many balls in this game that like they never existed again later that and I never really bother with them to be honest. And I think it's because like I got it into my head that um I think it's because I got it into my head that uh that like none of them on the best none of them on the best circumstances were as powerful as an ultra ball anyway, so I just stopped using them. When that's not actually true, like then when I looked it up later, it turns out that they are actually better, like if you use them under their ideal circumstances. How many, wait a second, let's just have a look first and see what I've got here. Um, so yeah, that's the cat massage. Also cat massage is what I call it when she comes up and she's like getting ready to like maybe go to sleep or something like that. And like she starts doing the, I know people call it like, like she does the kneading thing where she like pats you with her paws. I know people call it making biscuits. There's something I really hate about that ter <laughs> that term. It sounds so dumb. Um, I just hate it. I hate the term making biscuits. This coming from the person who says gravity nest, right? And pussy fod, but there's something just so kind of like, I don't know, just like inane about the about making biscuits. It's just like, ugh, I hate it. Anyway. So we call first of all, wait a second, is Maril in this is Maril in this in this Union Cave? Do I want a Maril? I'm not sure I even want a Maril. Well look, I always want Maril. What's in the grass here? The um Spiro, I sleep. The, um... So yeah, when she does that, we call it the cat massage. Like, we're getting a cat massage or whatever. That's what we call it. Krang really needs to level up. Sorry, Krang, but... Don't worry, Krang. The day will come when all fear you. You know? I'm trying to think what other like cat related terminology there is that like I think pussy foot and gravity nest are the big big one I definitely used to call that tree something else and I feel like it was something like fortress or something like that like we used to say she's in her fortress or something um but um speaking of fortress I would love a fortress there's so many Pokemon that, like, I'm gonna have the opportunity to get that I don't normally have the opportunity to get. And that's the thing, like, in these playthroughs, I kind of like to use Pokemon that I haven't used in a Let's Play before. Like, I don't want to just kind of use the same old Pokemon all the time. That's why, like, if I used... If I, like, that, that's why I'm kind of, like, looking forward to using, like, Tentacool and Tentacruel, because I've never actually used them before, so... Anyway, Kurt. I thought Kurt was just price as well. The, um... You fell down a well and whatever. No wonder I forgot you. I was, like, revisiting the concept of the, like, Hot Pokemon Men tier list. And, like, then I looked at one. And... I looked at one. 
and saw that I saw these two guys literally they were in the squares right next to each other and I looked at them and I was like they're the same person I was like they're both price both of them are price so then I put a picture of it in the discord and apparently one of them was Kurt and I was like I completely forgot that Kurt existed Okay, let's now we can at least poison sting these guys. Well, I probably could have been doing that the whole time Bubble is probably more effective though, right? Because it's a uh, because it's special Also, I need to like remind myself that like there are moves in this game that have had their power changed Like I don't think any of those ones that have like a set um Progression will have changed, like the way Bubble 20, Water Gun 40, Bubble Beam 60, Hydro Pump 120. You know, I don't think any of those will have changed. Um, you know what, let's just try it with Prang. I know I could be using, um, I know I could be using uh, the Dream for this stuff, but still, I just I like when I see that like little blue bar so close to the edge, it's like I can't resist it. Um, okay, maybe I should change to the to the dream. <laughs> but yeah, I'm trying to think like what the other like terminology is. There's definitely some more like cat related terminology. It's just that it's so normalized to me now. I don't have I don't know where like the it's just like here with this. I don't know where crystal begin ends and crystal legacy begins. Like in my regular life, I don't know what like the 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 absurd cat terminology where the normalcy ends and the absurdity begins. Finally, Krang grew to level 11. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. Alright, time to leave and go heal at the Pokemon Center again. We're gonna see, be seeing a lot of that. Slowpoke would be fun as well. I know in like Pokemon Shield, didn't I have like, um... I think I had both the Galarian slow po slow bro and slow king. I think I had both of them, didn't I? But to be honest, it'd kind of be cool just to have a regular old slow bro. There's something I really love about like OG slow bro. Um, so I might like I might actually consider that if I find like a slow poke. Also, one thing I, like, thought of, like, afterwards, one thing I, like, realized afterwards was that, like, mostly I'm going to be, like, I'm probably going to be recording all of this game in the morning time, because that's just when I have time to record. Like, for example, today, I'm on the late shift, so I don't have to start until 11 o'clock, um, so I don't have to leave until, like, 10 a.m. or whatever. But that means that I'm like always probably going, and that's probably going to be the way it is most of the time, you know? Like, the um, most of the time when I record this game, it's probably going to be between, between like 7 and 10 a.m. So in the morning time, daytime, whatever. So I'm pretty sure there are probably going to be, well, they did this a lot anyway, right, in the original, but there are going to be those Pokemon that. There are going to be those Pokemon that only appear at night that I'm probably just never going to see. And you know what? That's alright too, I guess. It's, it just is what it is. What are we going to do about it? On the off chance that they do record this game at night sometime, well, I guess we'll, we'll enjoy that when it comes to it at night. Um, so yeah, the, the, the weekend was actually quite nice. Like, Saturday? Saturday was a nice day. Went out for a walk and... Um, went and got some nice. So we went in, into the city, went into the market, got some nice fish for dinner, got some sea bass, um, and then went for like a nice brunch as well. And then came home and just enjoyed the day. Went for a walk, got some work done around the house, you know, stuff like that. Um, so that was quite nice. And then yesterday was nice as well. There, there is this kind of. Um, there was this kind of like science festival on in in the city, not in the city, in the park. Um, okay, I think I'm just gonna get this. I, I think I'm just gonna got item and then got out of here. The um, 
there was this um, science festival on in the park that we went to yesterday. Um, of course, the dream fainted. The dream is just a dream. There was a science festival on in the park yesterday for mostly for kids, but it was actually who cares? You know, it was a uh, it was aimed at families, but anybody can enjoy science at the end of the day. Well, anyone can enjoy this cute little tortoise that they had there that you could touch and kind of pet and stuff like that. Um, but it was really good. There was like stuff all over the park, like all little tents and little little shows and demonstrations and stuff like that. Um, it was really, really nice. And, and I think it's just a good thing to have like stuff on for families. Like I think the... Um, I think if the, um, like when you have kids, and especially in Ireland, like there are very few families that only have one child, like most families either have like zero kids or else they'll have two or three kids, you know, it's like one or the other. Um, okay, this is not great, I don't think. Well, look, Teen Idol should be able to take out this schmuck, right? Surely, I just hope I don't die. Okay, that's not a great start. <laughs> But look, it's baby versus baby. Babies, they're like... Dino babies having fun. That wasn't that bad. Let's just give the metronome a go. This is an attack the Clefairy called the metronome. Well, that really wasn't bad. There's something fun about metronome anyway. <laughs> It's just enjoyable to use. I remember there were so many attacks that- What the hell? Oh my god, Teen Idol? You're the Rock of Gibraltar, Teen Idol. You're the Hope Diamond. I'd rather you were calling me Brad Pitt's wow. Did I talk about that in last recording session? I don't know whether I talked about that in, uh... I don't know whether I talked about that in, um... In... In Legends Arceus or in this. About, like, that, uh... About that Hell's Kitchen exchange between Jubri and that other guy, whatever his name is. But yeah, there was all sorts of cool stuff on, so we went in and enjoyed that, and I came home. It was one of those days yesterday where I was just able to, like, take the time and relax and make a, like, spend a long time cooking. Like, I love, like, at the weekend. Like, cooking is something that's, like, very relaxing and enjoyable for me. I like doing it on my own. I like having time really invest a lot of time into doing something that I enjoy, you know. Um, so it was just nice, have a glass of wine and cook and spend hours cooking and just enjoy the process and and enjoy the fruits of your labor then at the end. It was just an enjoyable day yesterday, so, so that was that. And it's looking like it's shaping up to be a nice week already in terms of the weather. I'm gonna be walking up to work in just a little bit and um, and, uh, this guy just has all the babies. That's all it is. He just has all the babies. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's just try a metronome again. Oh my god, I forgot, like, how different Smoochum looks like in the Gen 1 or Gen 2 games. <laughs> but, um. Oh, well, that's great. Teen Idol is frozen solid. <laughs> Do status conditions affect happiness? I think walking around poisoned does, but I don't think actually just getting a status condition does. Sorry, I was drinking my coffee. At this stage, I might as well just like finish the, the slowpoke well. We're up to like 29 minutes. What the hell? What is up with this guy's luck? As I was saying, like, I forgot Smoochum looks so different in the in the Gen 2 games. Lick. Dracula don't suck blood. Dracula scrape and lick. Uh, I, w I was like, if you paralyzed me with that, I was gonna scream. The, um, I remember in that, like, um, I remember in that, like, um, Pokemon, maybe I should just be, like, raging at this guy. I remember that, like, Pokemon Magazine I had that previewed all of the, um... That previewed all of the Gen 2 Pokemon. They didn't... Obviously, they, like, how could you? They didn't put together, like, that, um... 
At least nobody died, right? And Teen Idol grew to level 14, that's the main thing. Rocket Ato? I don't remember that at all. I don't remember this weird baby, baby trainer. So everyone's frozen, so I think this is a good time to call it a video. <laughs> okay. Um, what was I saying? I remember in something? I remember in something? Oh yeah, they didn't put together that Smoochum was a was a baby Jinx. Um, and also they thought that it was like a ghost Pokemon because it was all just made up. Like that that whole like I need to like show some of the I need to like put that on Discord or something like show the like take pictures of that because it's just so funny to me. Like they basically all they had was the sprites from the game of the new Pokemon. That's all they had. So they didn't really put together what was correctly what was evolving from or into what and they also didn't put together correctly what the typing was of any of them really they were just like making guesses and assumptions so it's really funny looking at some of the stuff and then they have like a little comment they have like a little jokey joke or like whatever anyway i think that's it for this part of let's play pokemon crystal legacy in the next part uh we will complete slow poke well and probably get probably get rinsed by Bugsy, but who knows? See you then, bye.